Isaiah chapter 60, verse 6. The multitude of camels shall cover thee. The dromedaries, the dromedaries are young camels, of Midian, Ishmael, the Arabs, all they from Sheba, the so-called Africans, the Hamites, shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to give me the spirit to do this video. When the Lord Yahweh Shai comes and the kingdom is established, okay, all these different heathens are going to come to us, to the Lord and the Israelites, and give incense, frankincense, myrrh. And when you notice, it says gold and incense. So when the Lord was born, what did the wise men give him? They gave him incense. Frankincense, myrrh, those are incense, okay? And they gave them gold. So when they come to us as a whole, to Yahweh Shai, the 144,000, the elect, they're going to do the exact same, okay? Because like I said in my last video, proving that Babylon is America by using frankincense, I gave you the areas that frankincense is native to. These incense are native, Mirror as well, okay? So they're going to bring big old bags, man, big giant bags loaded on camels, man, and they're going to bring a whole bunch of it, man, okay, to the Israelites, okay? Why? Because those things are valuable, okay? And when you read in our history, in our heritage, we burn incense all the time, man, in the temples of the Lord, okay? The Lord, the Most High, Yahweh, wanted us to burn incense to him, okay? along with offerings. So we're going to get all that stuff, man. And in the kingdom, we're going to have our own frankincense trees, man, Boswell trees, which that's what the tree is called, Boswell tree. We're going to have our own myrrh trees and all trees, man, all herbs, man, on our own land with our slaves harvesting all our incense day in and day out, okay, whenever it's time to harvest, okay? And you're going to be in your big palace, multiple palaces, man, in different rooms with different incense burning and different smells, okay? Day in and day out, man. It's going to be burning in the temples. These incense are going to be always burning in the kingdom, man. Nice, aromatic, wonderful, beautiful smells, man. Sweet and savory smells everywhere at all times, okay? From there, let's go to Malachi chapter 1, verse 11. For from the rising of the sun, even to the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. And in every place, incense shall be offered unto my name, and a pure offering, for my name shall be great among the heathen, says the Lord Yahweh. So in every place, incense is going to be brought, which I read in Isaiah 60 chapter, and it's going to be burnt in every place, man. And it says, as a pure offering, man. Because the tree is pure, all right? You read that in Sirach, uh 38, when it talks about the tree going into the water so that the virtue of it may be known that made the water clean, made it drinkable, okay? So these incense, which is the sap from trees, is going to be offered, man, all right? That's why the Lord say he that is wise will not abhor it, man, because these are valuable things that we could be using now getting the understanding now on how to use them, okay? And obviously in the kingdom, we're going to get all understanding. But I'm talking about right now in our captivity, we're still here. So these incense are here for us to use now, man, okay? He that is wise will not abhor them, the medicines that come out of the ground, man. So once again, Yahweh Bashim Shah is going to put the spirit on these heathens to bring all those incense because it's valuable, and we're going to fully understand the value of it in the kingdom, man. But through the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, there's men right now, okay, pushing through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai how valuable incense is, man, in many ways, okay? With that, I want to say the water, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, forgive me the spirit to do this video. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all your Akamath that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.